impressions are what counts really, aren't they? And first impressions are hold on to your knickers. <laughs> oh, this thing is so sick. Slight movement to the boat, but it's not bashing up winds. last tie that we have to land. We gave the car back just before and this is the last of our stuff that needs to go back on the boat. Under the bed treasures. So yeah, um, we are officially now back to yachties and liverboards. Bye bye Yuna. Come on down. Oh, you want to do that? Okay, here you go. Hold my hand. Alright, no photo. Oh, bunny, come down. Last night on the boat, and it's pretty hot, eh? <laughs> but the boat does have air cons, and so um, I think it's time we find out whether they work or not, because there's no fans. See, Lanji had fans everywhere, and whilst we do have a couple of Sirocco's finest that we do plan to install, they're not currently installed, which pretty much means it is very stagnant in here. There's no wind outside and downstairs. I'm a bit of a sweaty Betty. So I think it's time we tested out the generator and then when the generator's on, we press that button for the air conditioner to see if he turns on because we're told the air cons worked before we purchased the vessel. So there's no reason why they shouldn't. I'm sure they'll take a little bit of cobwebs to iron out, but if there's power there, hey Lula. Except there's one in your room. I'm up with it. I'm up with it. Okay, okay. So we'll open the seacock for the air conditioner. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We'll turn the, the isolator switch on for the generator. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. One thing at a time. I don't know, something's going on here. Alright, well we flick that isolator switch on and off, change the knob, put it at all angles. And there's no power. And that means we're not getting any cold air tonight. No, I want to turn my like that on my mouth now too. Yeah, they didn't do it, did they? No. So should we go and just lay in your room because it's the best room in the house? Yeah, let's lay in Lula's room. I did that, I did that. Okay, let's go. Just because the boat's in the water doesn't mean that the boat work has stopped. In fact, a whole different type of boat work has started because we, you know, when the boat was on the hub, we weren't able to run the systems, the air conditioners, so the water pumps, the water maker, all these things, the sails weren't put on yet. Um, and so we've started the next phase of, of getting this boat sailable. Um, and we're kind of feeling the crunch because we have a week left until we need to leave the country, until the boat needs to leave the country. And we're just, we found, you know, the generator was running yesterday perfectly. It was amazing. And then it just started cutting out. And so we thought it was the fuel, um, changed over the fuel filter and, and checked everything. And then it ran perfectly after that. And then it cut out again and it won't start at all now. So we have the starter battery for the generator in the boot, which we're trying to find a new one because it is dead. Um, but we were able to jump it before from the engine starter battery. So now we're thinking maybe there's something wrong with the starter motor on the generator, but we're gonna prob troubleshoot by changing the battery first. <laughs> Let's see what we can find. Yeah. Good? Yeah. Yeah. What a tough old duck, eh? <laughs> yeah. Swing that battery around better than I could. <laughs> yeah. I gave her a little, <laughs> that little touch of her guns. She's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, man, you're yeah. strong. Oh, imagine having to lug the whole, everything the in whole a store. store. Oh, yeah. God. Look at the high shelves. Jeez. Yeah. All right, where to now? One down? Um, back to the boat. Let's give this car back. Oh, 
Oh, so we changed the uh, the starter battery for the generator uh, with the new one we bought yesterday, and I feel like it could be running a little bit smoother. So maybe like the injectors need to be cleaned. But looking at the exhaust, there's no smoke. There's no black smoke coming out. So maybe because uh, we changed those fuel filters yesterday as well, it might just be it might be running sweet again. But I think we've just got to give the uh, the generator a, a full service anyway. Just change all the oils and everything, and change all the filters. Maybe we're on to a winner. Hopefully. Be nice if it was something just that simple. <laughs> well, we got the um, the generator going and now we've got a new issue. So while we were in the boatyard, all of the outlets throughout the boat were working. And uh, when we ran the generator the other day, all the outlets were working fine. But then today when we've gone to use the outlets, it's actually tripped and so we can't find what's tripping the power so we're kind of back to square one of not having power or we are using the EcoFlow River to like charge our laptops and phones and stuff like that but other than that um, yeah we don't have any power on the boat again so we're back to square one we've gone through the whole boat looking at all the power outlets making sure there wasn't anything in any of them um, and yeah, I think we need to get the electricians back out here again because the the boat's 220 and Yosh has done a lot with 12 volt, but this is a whole different game. So yeah, anyway, we're moving on to the next thing. We're working on the laser jacks to get the main sail up in the boom bag and on the mast. These buttons are really old, they're made from fiberglass and I didn't realise but after like grabbing them and touching them I've gotten fiberglass splinters in my hands like it touched my leg gently and now it's all stinging and burning so we have gloves to deal with this. Never thought we'd need to do that to put the main sail up. So we'll tie a knot, we won't stitch it like they have. Do you want me to accommodate for it or not? Uh, just as long as they're all the same size. Here we It's definitely a little bit higher up than what old Nancy girl was. Pretty sick view. So we had to come up here this whole time, just like it's been a mess up the mast with all the lazy jacks and the halyards and just how they had, uh, how the previous owners or whoever did it, packed the boat up and put it on the hard stand. And I don't know, I guess it'd been on the hard stand for so long, there's just a lot of wind and sort of tangled all these ropes up a little bit more. And I had to come up here just to unpinch this main because the main halyard is, is double looped over because it's a big ass sail. But so I had to come up because somehow the halyard has got wrapped up on top of the uh, on top of the shroud here. There we go. That was easy. It's good to have a bit of an inspection up the rig as well to really see what's going on up here. The rigging, you know, like down on deck, the uh, the broker or the agent has obviously been cleaning the boat so it keeps it all nice and sparkling and shiny so it's really good to see the rig up the mast where they haven't been cleaning it and you know we're not sure the age of the rig which is probably 10 years that like we will have to change it before we cross the Indian Ocean um, but uh, it's good to have a good inspection on it up here because like still looks pretty good looks really good all things considered I'm happy to sail with that sweet Red one, second reef, green one, third reef. It's not right, spinnaker is on the mast. Reef one is the yellow one, out hole. I don't know, maybe that's a new one. I don't know what that means. Spin, maybe that's the, the boom vane. What's spin mean, Lula? Yeah, it's that one. Yeah. All right, let's follow where he goes. Here, we'll pull him up. 
Alright, you pull on him, alright? Yeah, it goes to the bottom of the... bottom of the mast. No, oh, there's still a mess there. Know what time it is? It's maiden voyage time! Yeah! <laughs> you ready, Mum? I'm nervous. I don't know. I'm just like cleaning. I'm like, oh, I gotta do this, gotta do that, gotta do this. But at, now we're like, we need to go now. It's the only time. Fair. So, uh, this boat is quite heavy, and so we do need a lot of wind to sail. And luckily, it is blowing 17 knots right now. What I'm concerned about though is we put the main on yesterday and we actually don't have any reefing lines. That Both the reefing lines were snapped and we haven't... Don't need reefing, babe. ...put them in, so it's no like it's, we're going to be sailing full, full main. <laughs> oh, Lula's awake! Oh. Yeah, no, well that's the thing about this. Previously we used to reef when it was 15 knots, but uh, Nanji weighed 8 tonne and this boat weighs 16 tonne. Uh, sometimes 18 ton. It depends which specs you look at. I can't, <laughs> not 100% sure. So we'll round that off to 17 ton. And yeah, so it's basically twice the weight of Nanji. And I reckon uh, we're not going to be reefing in this until it's like 25s. Even then, I still feel that she's going to perform better when it is 25 to 30. I reckon this boat would just absolutely love it at those wind speeds. So the uh, only way to find out. Let's do it. All right, go forwards. Stop. Well, that was fun. <sighs> oh, we're free. Good job, Lula. Hey. The steering is so perfect and on point. Like, is Nanji was like, you know, you had to do a lot of steers to kind of get the rudder moving. And this one, it's kind of like a car a little bit more. Yeah, it's a little bit like driving a car. Cable steering versus hydraulic, I guess. Is that right? Yeah. Wow. All right, well, the motor's going. Uh, and so I just want to check all the bilges downstairs and make sure we haven't got any nasty surprises or water coming in. Down the front here. This one needs a sneak out, but there's no water coming in there too, so all good. Since we're on a yacht now, we're not a sailboat. <laughs> Being over 40 foot, I think it's time we had a cheese platter. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> yacht Just life. Or yachting. Thanks, Mum. Welcome to yacht life. <laughs> All right, we're motoring out of the out of the channel and straight into the 15 20 knot trade wind. First impressions. This thing's a beast. <laughs> There's a slight movement to the boat, but like it's barely nothing. affecting it at all. Like, it's not bashing up wind. Well, I don't think we're putting any sails up because we're going to be motoring to our anchorage and uh, heading straight into the afternoon trades. But first impressions are what counts really aren't they and first impressions are uh, hold on to your knickers <laughs> oh, this thing is so sick forgot what i was chasing spent so many nights living out at sea that my heart is gone bacon everybody who was close to me all stayed on dry land so now i'm driving back on in the state west i just gotta feel something not gonna wait till the morning Because something's gonna change my mind I don't wanna change my mind Oh, I wanna stay right here, right here Chilling with my friends for another year I would walk away from the spotlight For the good life oh, Come on, turn your hate into poetry Pain in the power And I need some friends And your minutes in the hours I would walk away from the spotlight
my sweep. Wow, the sunset looks amazing. I feel like I've made these so many times on our channel, but I haven't actually made them in real life forever. So I'm just making some chickpea patties for dinner. <laughs> Gosh, like I don't even remember the last time we made these. Or I made these. It's definitely super easy. A young man not much younger than I. Don't you know that you got your whole life to be worried about all the things that are bringing you down? Well, that's the super simple dinner, and we've got plenty left over for the fridge and future meals. Maybe tomorrow on passage, we'll be getting into these ones. Chick pea patties! Chick pea patties! Chick pea patties! <laughs> Yay! Uh -huh. High five! Put a shirt on. <laughs> Let's go back quickly. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Round two. Let's try again. Yeah. Either we don't have our super bright torch. Yeah. Where does it go? Don't scare it. Can't really see much forward. Yeah, I think the wrong thing here. It's just not a little light in here. A huge thank you to our patrons for making these videos possible. If you are getting something out of our channel, then please consider becoming a patron. I'll put a link down in the description below. For as little as $3 a month, you can help us keep filming and floating and get exclusive content as well. So please check out Patreon and um, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.